Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero, the channel that is going to help you become the best version of yourself every single day. My name is Fabio and I'm an expert in risk management and market manipulation and today I'm going to discuss about the massive, massive, massive burn of Terra Luna Classic that we have seen from Binance today. So Binance has burned 5.5 billion LUNC, which in my opinion uh, is a massive burn of LUNC and now we have seen a total amount of 92.5 billion LUNC burn which equates to 1.35% of the total supply of LUNC uh, and you will ask why is this so relevant well and um, it's so relevant just simply because in the last months in the last year we have seen uh, many months in which Binance has burned around 1 billion LUNC 5.5 billion is more than five times uh, the usual amount that we uh, were burning uh, last year so uh, this is in my opinion a very significant burn and we are one step closer to 100 billion LUNC burned which is a major major goal for this blockchain once we burn 100 billion coins I believe we will see a lot more coverage about Terra Luna Classic we will see a lot more news articles about Terra Luna Classic about this goal and I hope a lot more speculators that will be uh, trading uh, Terra Luna Classic in the short term which could then potentially lead to even more burns of Terra Luna Classic in the future. If you guys are here uh, I would want to wish, wish you a happy new year and I would want to specifically thank Binance for burning 5.5 billion LUNC and I will repeat it one more time as I do in my previous videos Binance is not doing that for any other blockchain full stop so thank you very much Binance for burning this 5.5 billion LUNC and for supporting this blockchain and thank you to Binance especially because uh, the burn of LUNC is one of the biggest catalysts for a potential price appreciation in this 2024 and being backed by Binance, which is the major crypto exchange in the world. It's a major, major, major achievement for Terra Luna Classic as a whole. Um, let's uh, check the, um, the price of uh, LUNC in Binance here and as we have seen uh, lately um, in my opinion the setup didn't change wave one to the upside wave two to the downside massive wave three to the upside with the corrective wave four to the downside that in my opinion is now coming very very deep um, which it's still not a problem we can still recover from here and push forward however in my personal taste we have come down a little bit too much here however um, this does not mean that uh, Terra Luna Classic cannot revert from here to the upside that cannot recover and that cannot uh, reach a much higher price up, uh, um, level from the let's say this level uh, this even this level even if it was only a week uh, to the to the upside in the next couple of weeks or months okay um why binance did burn uh, so many uh, terra luna classic um, this month or basically based on the results that we have seen last month because of this major 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 spike of volume uh, that we have seen last month basically uh, after this major major wave three to the upside okay uh, so what are the implications of um, of basically this burn and what are the implications for Terra Luna Classic in 2024 uh, I will show you uh, one article and you, you can ask yeah wh why the price is going down if we have burned so many Terra Luna Classic if there is a positive news so first of all I can see now that the price of Terra Luna Classic is a little bit um, basically reacting uh, to this news even if in my personal opinion most of the people just like me could basically 
uh, know much more in advance that this is going to happen due to the high volume and i was repeating this as a broken record for the last week giving providing you a prediction between 5 and 10 billion LUNC. Uh, the last days of uh, December, I was even a little bit tentative to, to uh, stick with this prediction because the volume was drying up a lot, which is totally fine uh, because if this is a way forward, which I believe it is, uh, if we don't break even more down than we will reset the chat, chart, but if this is uh, an assumption that this is a wave four, in a wave four, we usually see a lower volume, lower and lower and lower and lower. So people get bored and frustrated and they just want to move on, invest in something else, close their position. And then uh, usually uh, with the wave five, we see a major spike to the upside and all these people once again, just like here, that um, just closed the position or didn't stick with uh, their their guts to uh, remain invested, they will chase again with leverage just to make up for their mistake. And most of these people, unfortunately, will get wrecked in this process and lose a lot of money. Okay, um, I wanted to show um, this article here uh, that... Um, and I will just read the article quickly so uh, we can discuss about that. So, uh, LUNC, uh, the resilient token emerging from the tumultuous aftermath of Terra's downfall, witnessed a notable 14% downturn, mirroring a substantial legal setback delivered by a U.S. District Court. The judicial decision favored the Securities and Exchange Commission, ASEC, in their legal pursuit against Terraform Labs, the entity steering the Terra blockchain, injecting uncertainty into the fate of the uh, cryptocurrency. Okay, um, so um, this sort of uh, news, usually, uh, just usually, uh, in the, um, based on the Elliott Wave theory, I see them a lot in waves two and sometimes in wave fours maybe not so much because it, wave wave four it is not driven by, by news is mostly driven by by the length of the wave and by the boredom that it brings wave two usually it's um bringing this sort of really really negative negative news um what if this all was just the wave one, and this was then a, a, a wave, a wave two. And this is also a potential interpretation, uh, not my favorite. Um, however, if this is true, uh, due to the proportions of the wave one, then we would have. How how I can not even explain with words what is the aftermath of that if a wave three is coming. A huge, huge, huge wave trip. However, I do not. You know me. I don't want to hype anything. I don't want to sugarcoat anything. I don't want to create FOMO. I don't want to hype you pointlessly. I just want to show you the raw data. So let's just stick to the raw data. Um, so basically, obviously, that we will see the aftermath and the legal implication of the uh, Terra. A collapse. The Terra collapse was major. A lot of people lost money on on top of the of the wave of uh, Terra. Um, Terra Luna was a project with forty billion dollars of market cap, and so many retail investors were invested. So many pension funds. Many people uh, lost their money and a significant amount of money. I personally know a lot of people that were all in on Terra Luna. All in. They weren't uh, invested in uh, any other project. Uh, and when I'm telling, uh, talking about all in, they didn't have any stock portfolio, nothing. They were just all in on Terra Luna Classic, put their whole savings in Terra Luna Classic, which I believe... Um, based on my profession of being a person that deals with risk management every day in my job is the most foolish decision that you could ever make even if it's the best project in the world 
you always want to diversify. You always want to lower your risk and invest and invest in different asset class. So in case something goes wrong, you can um, you can recover. Um, so um, I will just do a little diversion. So there are two types of risk: a systematic and non-systematic risk. And in this case. Uh, this wasn't even a systematic risk. It, it was non-systematic risk. A non-systematic risk can be just fixed with diversification. It's as simple as that. Obviously, if the whole market tanks, then usually diversification will not help you. And basically, this is a risk that uh, we all face. But this is why we also have a position called cash, or we have other type of investments that are, for example, real estate and so on and so forth that can protect you in uh, such type of scenario. Okay, so I wouldn't, um, I would not, um, I would definitely not recommend to anyone in this audience to go all in on any, on any project. Does not mean, uh, does not matter how good you think the project is, how great are the tokenomics, how great is the team, how good utility the project has, and so on and so forth. Okay, um, and I will close this bracket, and uh, let's discuss now once again about Terra Luna Classic. Um, this burn, uh, in my opinion, as I mentioned, was very massive. I still see this as a one, two, three, four, and I hope to see a five. If this was uh, just uh, a, a one, two, uh, setup, um, I believe this will come down even even lower, and and the fear will get um, higher and higher, and we will see a lot of news like that, and this is typical for a wave two correction, and as I mentioned in my last videos, 95% of the investors they miss the wave three, just simply due to the massive amount of fear that we uh, see in the market. And by fear, I mean the ast astronomical amount of negative news. And if you go down on the, on the, on the Bitcoin chart and uh, check Bitcoin during the banking crisis that we have seen uh, last year, um, or, or it was even, uh, I believe, around a year ago, um, um basically you will see the rest is history you'll see that the price went down so low everyone was so f not everyone the wells weren't fearful just the retail because there were so many articles about uh, um <laughs> about the horrible financial situation blah 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 you know what i personally like loaded the boat at that point in time because i just knew the social risk is so low People just are fearful. Uh, they they were speaking about a 3K Bitcoin and so on and so forth. Uh, the lesson to take from this whole long story um, is that simply, um, I believe Terra Luna Classic is not that because of this type of articles, because of this kind of um, wins of the Security and Exchange Commission, because we knew that Terra Luna uh, was. I wouldn't say that the project was, was a scam, but we have seen bad actors that exploited the weaknesses in the system and they took the advantage of the situation. And these people were criminals, bad actors, and they created a lot of damages. And we have seen uh, that allegation that algorithmic stable coins are very problematic from a regulatory standpoint just because of that, just because of the potential to exploit the whole system and um, to uh, damage the retail investors. So once again, um, <laughs> this is nothing new. This is something we all knew. We, this is something we, we all, all knew and it's nothing new for Terra Luna Classic. Um, I still believe that Terra Luna Classic now is a um, project that is fully driven by the community. I still think there are bad actors in this blockchain and that we have to do the best of our effort to put in the best of our effort to get rid of these people, to move on 
only with people that fully believe in this blockchain and that are not treating retail investors of this project as, as exit liquidity and that are not trying to pull off one other scam. Because I believe that now, like the damage was done and uh, the community has the full right to get their money back. And by taking their money back, I mean uh, getting uh, a big price appreciation here on this chart and uh, basically recover their losses in the future when the price will be higher by eventually selling their LUNC that they held for years and years. Overall, uh, I believe this news about Binance is very, very positive. Overall, I believe Binance is... Uh, many people tend to underestimate uh, the, the support that Binance is uh, giving to, to this blockchain. And I do believe uh, that the Binance has a massive, massive incentive uh, to help and to promote Terra Luna Classic because they will make astronomical profits if Terra Luna Classic uh, burns most of the supply and they will make astronomical profits if Terra Luna Classic reaches some kind of crazy prices, valuations. I will not um, enter into saying, hey, it's $1 or it's 10 cents or whatever, because, you know, like I'm this no-nonsense type of person and I don't want to speculate on that. I take it day by day. I look at the charts. I look at, at the data here. And then I can also um, provide some kind of insight based on the trading volume, for example, and predict some things that this month happened. This doesn't mean that next month I will be right. This was just an estimate and the estimate proved to be correct. Okay, guys, if you watched until this moment, I would want to thank you. And I would want to ask you uh, as a wish for this 2024. Um, if um, you are um, basically a new uh, member of this community, um, to take your time with Terra Luna Classic. This is not something that will play out in a few months or in a year. This is some. This is a long-term project. Uh, the revival of uh, Terra Luna Classic, the eventual repack of USDC, the eventual utility and development that we will bring to this uh, blockchain is something that is going to take multiple years to play out. So if you're here for a quick buck, personally, I don't believe you are in the right place. If you're here because you believe in this project, if, if you're here because you long-term believe that this blockchain can recover and that the community is strong, that the project has potential and has future catalyst, then fantastic. Treat it as it is. Treat it as a high, high, high risk project. Treat it as a small cap altcoin and treat it as something that could potentially fail because this is a possibility. And this is not to discourage you this is only to protect you and to make you understand the risks of investing in any small cup altcoin. Okay. Having that said, um, something that I want to cover a little bit more in the future is gaming on LUNC. And I really believe that if we can um, somehow incorporate uh, gaming uh, or maybe bring um, a lot of projects that will develop some games on Terra Luna Classic, that this would be an enormous game changer for Terra Luna Classic. I believe that gaming is um, the, the one of the, uh, let's say, fields in crypto that uh, will make an explosion in the next two years. In 2024 and 2025, this is going to be a sector that is going to boom. So um, I believe that uh, we should uh, not only look, uh, I mean, the developers and uh, the people that are working on the revival of Terra Luna Classic, they just shouldn't fight and talk about uh, how to burn uh, the funds 
in uh, our community pool, they should more focus on how to bring utility to this blockchain, maybe develop some games on Terra Luna Classic, and then imagine if you just could play to burn. Not play to earn, just play to burn. How good does it sound? Play to burn. So if you could play to burn, and if you could burn Terra Luna Classic in the, in the process, that would be absolutely phenomenal. I believe so many people, because I see how many people watch these videos about Terra Luna Classic, how many people um, give me support for what I'm doing, and the community is so strong. If all these people could play some games, could play to burn, this would be the biggest initiative in crypto in 2024, I believe, we would burn an insane amount of coins, and we would burn, uh, and we would bring so much fun, development, entertainment, and excitement to this whole community and this whole project. So I believe uh, this is one of the narratives that we could use to revive this uh, whole project. Nobody's talking about that. Nobody cares. Um, so I will be one of the people that will start caring, that will start talking about that. And maybe somebody will follow. Maybe somebody will be interested. I don't know. But if I don't try, I will never know. If you support the initiative, if you support my work, if you support uh, the channel, please give me a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Comment. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your new year. Happy new year. All the best wishes, a lot of prosperity and a lot of gains in 2024. Especially thank you to Terra Luna Classic. See you in the next one and take care. Bye bye.